What's going on everybody? Welcome to Always Occupied Home and Product Reviews and in this review we have an automatic soap dispenser you guys. Now this is probably like maybe the fourth or fifth one that I reviewed but you have to love the automatic soap dispensers you guys. You don't have to and all that you know. All you have to do is put your hand under, soap come out nice and easy, wash your hands and get rid of the germs and have fun in life. <laughs> All right. So this one is from a brand called Monsteak. Monsteak. Hopefully I'm not butchering the name, you guys. Usually I just post it right here, right in front for y'all. So I don't butcher the name. So there you go. It's a fairly popular product that's on Amazon. Me personally, I like the shape of it. I like the round shape. I think I might be putting this one in the kitchen. Um, I just like how it has a display on it. I like how it looks like the Google, uh, what you call it, the thermostat. Oh, um, so I like how it looks like the Google thermostat. Um, so with that being said, we are going to go ahead and get into it. Now, this thing has 200 milliamps of battery power. Um, how long does it last? I don't know. Usually this stuff lasts on how many times somebody actually used the soap. So personally, I think this is going to uh, be like, need to be charged up the most in the house because people wash their hands in our kitchen the most. I mean, this is what it is, you guys. Like when you go in the kitchen, that's like a mandatory thing you do in the kitchen is wash your hands. So we are gonna go ahead and unbox this thing because I am actually eager to see what this thing looks like. Here we go. First thing that pops out is the wire. Now, this is USB type C and it looks like they give you enough of it, you guys. Nice. I say it's about two foot of wire right here. Very nice. Now, I don't know your application of where you're going to put this at. So, um, be mindful of that. Do you have an outlet that's close by or where you want to put this at, or at least at the distance of your wire right here. And we have the unit and here we go. And you guys, what is this? Okay. So this is what a mounting. Oh, this came from the bottom. Okay. So that is okay. Is that the bottom or the top? All right, we will find this out soon, you guys, but let's go ahead and take off the seal. This is the part my wife don't like when she get her electronics. She like leaving this part on her electronics, but me, I like taking it off the electronics. <laughs> All right. So I thought this would be a little bit smaller, but, you know, I'm not mad or nothing. Um, it does have uh, adhesion thing on here which I wish you had the option to use screws if you have followed my channel for a while you know that I rather screw up instead of using adhesion but we will use the adhesion and um, we will put it up hopefully that the uh, adhesion will last um, a lot of times adhesion don't last all right so number one which will be up here this is how you fill in your liquid all right. It says number two, it says gear display. So your display right here. Number three is your charger port. So here's a charger port right here. So this is a power on and off switch. All right. Oh, and I turned it on. Is this easy tap? Okay. So this is just an easy tap. It's not really a button. So sensor and then your output. All right. And we have it off right now. All right, you guys, so let me go ahead and put this up, put some soap in it, and let's see it work. I actually like, I love this design, you guys. I love it. I even like the rose gold out here. I don't mind that. Um, if it was fully black, that would be perfect, but the rose gold actually give it a nice little look to it. So this is what I chose to get anyway. So I know what I was getting myself into when I got into this. And regular gel and liquid soap and you can mix that up and it will equal to foam soap. I did not know that. Usually when you get stuff like that, stuff like this, they say uh, foam soap only. They don't say like there's a ratio where you can make foam soap. 
So that is one interesting thing that I just learned. So I know that's blah, blah, blah to y'all. So let me go ahead, put this thing up. Um, this is simple, you guys. You, you take this off. The sticky is on the other side. Post it up. Make sure you're straight. <laughs> Make sure you're straight, but post it where you want it to go. And that's about it. All right, you guys. So this is going to be a quick and simple review um, because this product is quick and simple to use so right now we have the charger on now this is not the original charger but um i have so many chargers that i can use this usb type c and then this use usb type c to charge something else if i want to so i'm just using this now when you're using your charger this screen will stay always on mode all right that's the mode that it will stay on now if you want to change the amount that comes out um you could just simply tap the power button so that is for one all right and y'all see that we are on one rinse my hands now if you want more to come out tap it all right now we're on two and you see more came out right there Gonna do it one more time. We're gonna tap it. All right, and then a whole lot more came out. So we usually just leave it on one, you guys. Uh, one is enough. So it's not really a tap. You gotta like like touch it, but hold it for a little bit, then let go. So there you go. So it's just like this. All right. If you tap it, it might not go as fast, but it works even if you tap it, as you can see. Maybe my hands was wet. Maybe that's why. Um, I don't usually leave nothing under because as soon as it stops discharging, there's no drips. So that's pretty good with that. Now, we already did the install. We used tape, you guys, so no big deal about that if we rip it off. Um, you know, if the paint come off the wall or something, then we'll just repatch it up. No big deal. Um, once again, I wish it would have used screws. That would have been better for me. Y'all know I'm a screw person. So if you want to check your temperature on here, in which I really don't care about the temperature, you guys, but, um, I think you double tap. All right, if you double tap, it goes in Celsius. Double tap again, it goes in Fahrenheit. All right, tap, tap, level one. And if you take the power off, the always on mode goes off. So you won't know the battery level until you ask for soap. Okay, and now we're on temperature. All right, so the battery life is 100% and that goes to temperature right there so that's about it um you could leave it on always on mode if you want you could just leave the charger on depending on how your electricity is hooked up in your house so basically i have a outlet right here by the sink you might have one in the same situation but yeah now another thing on here they said well somebody asks what their frequent asked questions if you uh, want to use uh, sanitizer, foam sanitizer, uh, this machine will work if you're using foam sanitizer as well. So that will be it, you guys. If y'all have any other questions, comments, concerns, put it in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Like, comment, share and subscribe.